it was right about the time whenever you guys uh, changed to CVS Health, yep. you announced your new purpose statement, your values, and also quit smoking kind of almost all within a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So I had been at the company for over 20 years at that point. Every year we would talk about our purpose and some brave soul would raise his or her hand and say, if that's our purpose, why do we still sell cigarettes? And that was that like awkward moment where you'd say, oh, that's because we have to make money. We're a public company. <laughs> but you knew that wasn't really right. And uh, I would say the, the drumbeat got louder after we bought Caremark and we became, you know, really a healthcare company. In other words, we were starting to go into hospital systems to talk to health plans about all the great services we could provide as their healthcare partner. And suddenly the doctors started saying, but how can you still sell cigarettes? Which at the time, cigarettes were killing 480,000 people every year in the United States. Um, for me, this was really personal. My mother had died of lung cancer. And so I had lost her in 2009. And it was, you know, to lose a parent's a terrible thing, but to lose someone that way is, is re really devastating. And so, yes, I was always trying to sort of figure out how to satisfy this deep personal connection I had to the impact that I could have as a leader in, in, in corporate America. And it was hard. We came together as a whole leadership team under the CEO. I was, I was part of you know a lot of conversations hard conversations we were doing two billion dollars a year in cigarette sales and we were a public company and we had just announced guidance but we finally decided as a team that this is what we needed to do and we decided not to test it or do it incrementally we said no there's only one player one one pharmacy chain in america who could be first at this it, it needs to be us and it was such an amazing team effort. I, 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 you know, just as an example, the CFO at the time was hugely passionate about this. And you would say, wow, a CFO, he should be worried about the bottom line and be resisting you. But he fundamentally knew that this was the right purpose for us. The only issue we had was the shareholders. So we said, oh no, you know, one of the problems as we thought about all the stakeholders, the one group we worried about was the shareholders because we were walking away from all these sales and what, you know, how would the stock react? And what was so interesting about this is we announced this in February of 2014, our stock price went down maybe three to 5% the first couple of days. And 10 days later, our stock price was higher than when we had started. And you'd say, well, how could that be? You just told them you were walking away. And what we heard back was the analyst saying, oh, you're a healthcare company. You're actually putting your, you know, your, your, your walking the talk. And what was so interesting about that is we had owned a healthcare business for five years at that point, but suddenly our actions spoke louder than our words. So listen, it was, it was a great experience, but I would say the things that made me most proud about it were uh, the number of employees. And I'm sure you felt this way, Jeff, just mm -hmm. in the organization who felt so proud to work for a company that would do the right thing, you know, and like me, many, many, many people had their own stories about losing someone to smoking related illness. So that was, that was a big part of, of the story. But the other really exciting thing was people in the organization said, wow, if we took that kind of a risk and it all worked out, what else could I do? What else am I controlling? <laughs> there where i could lean in a little bit and i remember in the in the front store team uh always they'd been held back from accessing uh really uh cutting edge nutrition kind of products because those players didn't want to sell to us but suddenly that those players started saying wow you made that bold move we now want to pick one drugstore chain we're going to partner with and it will be you so i think that also unleashed a lot of innovation and then finally we got amazing people that come want to work for our business too, because especially young people in 2014 wanted to work for a purpose-driven company. So there were many, many amazing unintended consequences that came out of that decision. And I'm very grateful I got to play a role. 